Deslin, the conference improving investor outcomes, your contribution in particular, broadening the meaning of active. Yeah, a lot of people look at the active management of the investments as what the asset manager does at the end. Are they beating a benchmark? Are they beating the peer group? But your decisions around your investment start way before that. It starts with the definition of your objective. It's a translation of that objective into an understanding of how much do you need, at what point do you need, what is the cost of missing either the amount you need or the timing of it. Now, if you really had a kid going to school in five years' time and I don't have the right amount, your kid's not going to school. Missing the timing of it matters. So investment strategies start really at that very, very beginning an understanding of your risk appetite to all of those things and translating that into a portfolio strategy. That portfolio strategy represents asset classes, it's equities, bonds, inflation-linked bonds, property, global assets, hedge funds, etc. The combination of those things are a function of what's going to get you to your destination without overtly changing your costs and overtly changing your risk profile. Once that is done, you implement it either in passive or active structures. The need for active management, the ability to outperform a benchmark uh, or type of framework is really when you need that little bit of extra to get you across the line. And in the absence of that, you may fail your particular objective. So meaning of success now should be the probability of meeting your objective as opposed to the probability of meet, beating a peer group, etc. So the active management decision and the bulk of it starts at that definition phase. And then you implement, watch, monitor, and see how well you're doing towards your goal. Thank you very much. Great.